All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome or welcome back. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm the Bro Gamer, and I'm here with a very quick video, quick update from Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 information, information section on the website. This is for an event or Budokai that begins this weekend exclusively on Saturday and Sunday. This was announced on November 8th, but, but again, this, this event is specifically for this weekend only. Just to keep that in mind, it's called the Dark Demon World Limited One Budokai event. And it reads as follows. We would like to inform you that the Tenkaichi Budokai will be held where specific characters based on various themes will be used to fight this, will be used to fight. This is a competition to determine the strongest user in Xenoverse 2. And TP medals will be awarded to those who rank high in the competition. Everyone, please join us. So again, as I stated, but just to reiterate for you all, the event is from November 11th, Saturday to November 12th, Sunday. As you can see, the characters used in this specific event are as follows. Majin Buu Good, which I believe is Tubby or Fat Buu. Majin Buu Evil. Majin Buu Pure. Mira. Toa. Mass Saiyan, which if you know what, if, if you don't know who that is, I'm not even going to spoil it for you guys. Majin Buu, Gohan Absorbed, the Bora, and there is a petit participation award, excuse me, for this event just for 50 TP medals. I believe it, it says here, I believe so. Now, to get to the juicy bits, the ranking rewards for anyone who gets first to fifth place in this event, um, I guess they'll get the street name. Yusagidan, Yusagidan. I don't know how to pronounce that. Forgive me. Um, but they'll get a complete set of Dragon Balls, 100 and 100 TP medals. Those who place from sixth to tenth places will receive 100 TP medals. Eleventh to twentieth place will receive 70 TP medals, and those from 21st to 50th place will also receive a nice 50 TP medals. All right, in the deets. So in order to participate in the Budokai or the event. You must have completed so this is what you guys need to know so for any of you who might be new to xenoverse 2 might have just bought the game or whatever the case is you do need to be a certain part or be have progressed in the story to a certain level before you can even think about doing this so as they said you must have completed both threat saiyan edition and the mechian battle and time patrol please participate at the reception desk at the Tenkaichi Budokai venue in the game during the event period. During the Theme 1 Budokai period, rank matches exclusively for Character 1 Budokai and Theme 1 Budokai will be held and rankings will be completed based on the total points obtained. Now this is, now this is the, the probably in my opinion the most interesting kind of perplexing part of this whole thing. So they say if we find a lot of behavior such as leaving the room immediately after matching or intentionally playing against the same player too many times, too many times, we, we may take penalties such as stripping you of your rewards or suspending your account. <laughs> wow. That is, wow. In order to participate in the theme Ichi Budokai, you'll need an environment where the game console itself can be conducted, excuse me, connected to the internet. So you just need, obviously, online multiplayer. The PlayStation 4 version requires a Sony Entertainment Network account and PlayStation subscription. Ouch. PlayStation Plus subscription, excuse me. Ouch. The event schedule and reward details are subject to change without notice. Rewards may be dispersed at other events at a later date. Please be careful when changing your online ID after event rewards are confirmed, but before you receive them. Thank you for your continued support of Xenoverse 2. Wow. So for me, that is probably kind of the most perplexing part, as I said, of this whole thing, because like I'm still pretty new to Xenoverse 2 as a whole, especially when it comes to these events and covering them and whatnot. Now, to my knowledge, I don't remember reading anything that's been as, that would punish you nearly as much as this did. I mean, I would, it's just kind of weird for me for a, an event that's only going on for two days and this, you know, don't get me wrong, the rewards are pretty good and everything like that. I get that. But, but this type of event, I, this just seems like this has some very, very harsh penalties. I don't think anybody will really be trying to do that type of thing. I mean, of course, you always have some bad actors, so to speak. Some people who don't want to follow the rules, of course, but I just, I don't know, it just kind of 
kind of took me by surprise there this just the uh the types of uh ramifications or penalties that they would be levying on people who violated the event rules so i don't know man i mean i, I mean i get stripping people of the awards 100 percent, but the suspending account that's kind of wow that's kind of harsh to me but that's all I have for you regarding this event and regarding this video. Hope that you all found it helpful. If there's any other information that I can get, again, this, this event is only from Saturday to Sunday. So if there's any other information that you guys, any questions that you have regarding this event, please be sure to let me know in the comments and I will try my very hardest to get back to you quickly and find out the information that you need. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Hope that you all enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful, informative, whatever the case. If it was, please be sure to drop it a like. I really would appreciate it. But most importantly, I truly do appreciate you taking the time out your day to drop by and watch the video. But until next time, I hope that you all have an absolute fantastic one. And I hope to catch you on the next one. But until then, peace. Catch you next time.